Aloha and welcome to my channel. This is Airguns808. This is the first video I'm putting up. Well, the first airgun video I'm putting up. I did put up a welcome video. You guys are more than welcome to watch that. If you guys don't care about that kind of thing, then just skip it. <laughs> but anyways, the first rifle I want to do today is something that's very special to me. This was the first airgun I ever owned. I actually got one from a neighbor when I was a teenager. He had one in his backyard and he used to go over there and shoot and I loved it so much he actually gave it to me when he moved out. And I carried that thing everywhere I went. Like anytime I went into the woods or went into um, the mountains to go hiking up to the stream, I would take the air gun and just have some fun shooting stuff. <laughs> like random stuff. Uh, I wouldn't shoot any of the birds because here in Hawaii it's kind of hard. Our birds are endangered, so you don't want to shoot the birds. Um, but, you know, I would shoot like tree branches, leaves. Sometimes I would take cans out there and shoot the cans or we'll take targets up there and shoot the targets and we would clean up after okay keep the forest clean <laughs> but anyways yeah so that kind of stuff um is what got me into air guns is doing that unfortunately that original air gun i had got stolen so when i was in my 20s i went and picked up another one and it's just as wonderful as i remember and i still use it to this day out of all the air guns i have out of all the money i've spent on air guns this is the one that I still use as my go-to gun <laughs> just for backyard fun. If I'm doing target shooting and accuracy, I have other guns that I will use, but just for backyard fun, shooting cans, whatever, you know, some air gun fun, um, I use this rifle right here. So uh, we're gonna get into the review in just a second. I just wanna say thank you for joining me today on my first video and mahalo for watching. This is the Daisy Powerline 880. Daisy is an American company started back in 1882 as Plymouth Iron Windmill Company. In 1889, they exclusively started making BB guns. In 1895, they officially changed their name to Daisy Manufacturing Company. The Daisy Powerline 880 originally started manufacturing in 1972 and is still being manufactured to this very day. It remains to be one of Daisy's most popular selling air rifles. Although there are different variations of this rifle, the design is still exactly the same, with little to no changes made, making it the superior at home air gun for backyard fun. This model of the Powerline Daisy 880 comes with a 4 times magnification 15mm lens scope. The scope is easily adjustable for pinpoint accuracy by removing the top cap and the cap to the right. These two dials can be turned with a small coin or a screwdriver, making it easy to zero in on targets. Looking down the scope, you can see it's your standard center point crosshair, making it easy to just pick up, aim, and shoot. The Daisy Powerline 880 also features a front fixed sight along with an adjustable rear sight where you can adjust for yards and wind. The inner barrel of the Daisy Powerline 880 is a steel barrel which is rifled. The outer barrel is a protector for this barrel and is made of steel and is coated to help prevent wear and weather damage. But as you can see in the pictures, mine is starting to rust a little bit. This air rifle uses a lever action multi-pump pneumatic system, which means you can pump up to 10 times to suit your needs. It is not recommended to pump past 10, but you can, but you do risk blowing out your cylinder. On the left side of this gun, you have a little door here that you can open and fill up with up to 50 BBs. Not recommended for target shooting, but if you're just having some backyard plinking fun, it's perfect. As you can see on the right side of this air rifle, when you pull the bolt back, there's a small opening on the top. This is so you can load your .177 caliber pellets into this area. It is a little difficult to get them in at first, but once you get used to it, it becomes easy. It took me a little bit to get used to this because the scope is in the way and it's such an awkward position. But once you get the hang of it, it actually becomes quite easy and fast to just drop in a pellet, lock the bolt, and go. Mm -hmm. 
This air rifle also features your standard push to fire safety. It is recommended that you do it every time you load the gun, but sometimes I do forget and I haven't had an accident yet. All in all, the Daisy Powerline 880 is actually an excellent rifle just for some backyard fun. It is a little short, but you get used to it after a while and it's pretty lightweight. One thing I don't like is that it's made for right-handed people. You can see that this side has the cheek rest and the opposite side is just smooth, no cheek rest. Now that I talked about the air rifle, let's take a look at its performance. I was getting some pretty inconsistent results there at first and I figured out why I was shooting these two pellets. This is the Copperhead Dome pellets. <clears throat> these were the ones that were giving me the issues because if you look at the bottom, a lot of the skirts on these were bent and it was just making the BBs flutter during flight. Now these on the other hand, the Gamo Domed pellets that I was using actually performed very well and these are the ones that I got closer to my mark with and it was just in a random container mixed up, so I didn't know which was which. All right, and that's gonna conclude my video on the Daisy 880 um, air rifle. This is actually a really, really good beginner rifle for people that are just getting into air guns. Um, the loading system is really easy to do, if not just a little bit um, fickle because of how small the hole is, and especially if you have a sight, it's hard to drop the pellets in there. But once you do drop the pellets in there, um, and you get a hang of how to do it, you get a feel for how to do it, it, it becomes a lot easier. Um, I don't really recommend, I mean, if you want to, you can. If you're just gonna do like uh, shoot cans or something, nothing that doesn't require any accuracy, um, you can use the BB system where you can fill 50 BBs in here. Um, but I wouldn't recommend it for target, like target shooting. It's not very accurate. The BBs you'll notice when you look down the scope, sometimes they'll go left, sometimes they'll go right. <laughs> I was getting a similar issue uh, while shooting that accuracy videos uh, earlier in this video because I was using two different types of pellets and I took some pictures and I put it in at the end of the video so you guys can see the different type of pellets I have. Um, I would suggest buying Gamo pellets. They're actually so far the best that I had used and they're affordable. So Gamo pellets are really good to use for these types of air rifles. Also in the video, I did only a maximum of 10 pumps. I didn't go any higher than that. This gun is capable of doing up to 15, maybe 20, if you really are feeling brave about it. But I've noticed that with the weight of the pellets that I use in this, that really affects the accuracy. Like you'll see the pellets come out and all of a sudden those hook left. So 10 is actually the optimal for what I'm using, the pellet size that I'm using, but you know, your mileage may vary. So be sure to check that out. Um, 
I had this rifle for about 10 years now. This is the second time I purchased this in my lifetime. I did buy one as a teenager. Uh, they've been making this exact model for about 30 years now and it hasn't really changed much in design. There are different types nowadays, like they have the 880S or 880 Shadow, which is all black and it does look nice, but the design and mechanisms on the inside is still the same, hasn't changed. Just the outside uh, aesthetic looks have changed. Um, one thing I don't like, and I did mention this in the video too, is that this is mainly made for right-handed people with the cheek rest on this side. There is no cheek rest on this side. And that was uh, one thing I was kind of bummed about, but you know what? In all honesty, it doesn't really affect my performance when I'm using this thing. Um, it does have a little bump at the top, so that does help I can rest my cheek on that when I'm shooting. Um, but yeah, all in all, this is a wonderful rifle. Daisy do, does make excellent products. They're an American company that have been producing air guns for a really long time. And I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe they were the first in America to actually manufacture air guns uh, for pest control. And that's one thing that this thing is good at is pest control, small pests like rats. I wouldn't go anything, I wouldn't shoot anything bigger than a rat because you're just going to piss it off. <laughs> you're not going to do any damage. But um, I did shoot a chicken with this and it just pissed the chicken off and, you know, caused it to run away. <laughs> Basically, it didn't, didn't do any lasting effects. I still see that chicken wandering around over here. Um, I had to get it because it was eating the cat food. <laughs> but other than that, um, this is a perfect air rifle for uh, young adults like teens 16 and over I would recommend uh, to adults like if you're in your 40s or 50s you can buy this I'm in my 30s and I have one of these and I still use it to this day it's still a lot of fun with all the different air guns that I do own this one I probably use the most just for backyard shooting fun notice that there was some rust in the video that's because this uh, rifle is pretty old <laughs> about 10 years old and yeah um, for standard backyard fun, it's great. I mean, it has a very easy system to use. It's just a bolt action. You can put in your pellet here, and then you cock it, and then you can pump it, and then you can fire. Really simple, really simple rifle. Great rifle for backyard fun. <laughs> but anyways, um, that's going to be it for the video today. This is my first video on this channel. So I just want to thank you guys for joining me. And I want to say aloha and have a wonderful day.